Hey everybody, and nut, 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 yes, yeah, Squirrel Girl, yeah, this champion here. Now, I did want to put in my review, but I thought, like, I didn't want to pad the video out past, like, a, like a huge time frame. But I did want to look at stuff like the, the synergies and what they really do for these champions. In particular, we've got Luke Cage, we've got Sentinel, and as well, we've got either, you know, your choice there. Doctor Doom, MODOK, Mo Mordo, and Thanos, a whole, you know, very colourful bunch there. Mainly, I wanted to focus on Doctor Doom because of the Pimp Slap Baby, the Pimp Slap Baby, and then uh, Sentinel, and then as well we've got uh, we've got obviously Luke Cage. Those are the three kind of champions I really wanted to focus on. But I made you a separate video with Modok and just kind of look at stuff like his guaranteed crits after seven hits and other types of aspects to new synergies that have been put in for him. I'm kind of looking at him whether we can make him a, a decent offensive option based on these kind of amazing synergies that have been recently put in over the last year. However though, stick it to, as I said, Sentinel, Doctor Doom and Luke Cage. Basically I want to come to that understanding whether or not, as we know, improving Squirrel Girl based on these synergies is going to be fine, but will it benefit the other champions or will they kind of like make us go, hey, like this is a good questing team or I can add some other champions in to make it strengthen around not just Squirrel Girl but like Luke Cage or Doctor Doom. You know, we go, hey, I'll take Squirrel Girl in with my Doctor Doom as well as a few other champions as well. Will I create synergy teams around this? You know, those kind of questions. First of all, let's start off with Luke Cage. As you can see here, when hit by the opponent's special three while indestructible, gain a fury buff, increasing attack rating by 50% for 15 seconds. The fight playing out at the moment is taking my four star version. I don't know why I use my four star version, but I think it was just a case of like, well, let's just see about trying to build up some stuff and see what it really does to a four star version. For a five star or six star version, I'm sure you'll see more extensive damage output. But was I expecting to see anything dramatic? No, was I, did I see anything dramatic? A dram dramatic improvement? Again, no. Maybe it's the case that Luke Cage might get a, a synergy in the future that puts him like a lot stronger, but as I said, 5 stars, 6 stars would have given some different results and as well probably saw some better damage output than what I was seeing, but it's certainly nice to see that lovely little Fury buff, but it's not going to be something I don't think I will use too much, unless I was utilising Squirrel Girl for her kit. As we know, there's aspects of Evade that is kind of important. And if Luke Cage had a heavily awakened ability, and I'm talking like you're putting 200 signature stones into a 5 star version, I'm sure that I would probably be able to see enjoyment from this synergy here. But it is important as well to start the fight with a permanent fury buff, increasing attack rating, which is obviously based on the synergy. So there is viability, but it's only if you have a really strong awakened version, so you're constantly recycling that uh, indestructible buff. If it's not there and it's taking ages to reset, then it's going to be a little bit of a, a boring fight and especially if you're pushing to nodes of all of not all or nothing I think that's probably the only time or maybe times when you've got like a, a nameless Thanos um, from the kind of event not from what we see in map 6 but other things as well oh yeah it could be that you're pushing the champion more to things like sp3 that's the only kind of real value I see with this one now, as Sentinel's concerned, it is still a good champion, and I do like the idea of it having this nice little buff, especially as you can see, each time an opponent's immune to one of Sentinel's personal incinerate or shock effects, Sentinel gains two analysis charges. If Sentinel has his analysis complete, he deals a burst of 25% of his attack rating as energy damage each time instead, which I think is still pretty cool, and it's something that does improve the champion a bit. So if you are looking for an option to kind of put this in, as well having like double immunity, that decent L1, L2, amazing heavy attack with the shock damage, then this could be an option. But I just don't know if this is something that overly impresses me and just like, yes, it is good, but it's not a case you can go, right, this is putting out some amazing damage. It's just a case of going, this is good filler, especially considering that Squirrel Girl has uh, improved kit by each time a robot opponent is immune to one of Squirrel Girl's personal bleed effects, Squirrel Girl converts her bleed into a shock effect. So it just kind of like changes the bleed for shock, which is quite handy as well. Adds a little bit more to the kit for just diverse champion interaction. Now let's talk about where Doctor Doom factors into it and it only kind of gives you an additional two seconds for that aura of Hazareth. Now off the SP1 you get 
six seconds. This now puts it up to eight seconds. And the aura is quite important, especially if you're looking for things like nullifying buffs, suppressing power, gaining abilities. So you're basically like suppressing any kind of power and power stealing, buff kind of like suppressing. You know, very good things, very important things. And as well, having that additional two seconds is quite handy, especially if you're considering going up against champions that are very buff heavy, like your Venoms, like Hyperion, you know, loads of different other champions out there to go up against. And I did find that this was quite fun to utilize, and especially when you're looking at uh, Kit, again, Kit very important, Squirrelgo, what does Squirrelgo get? Well, um, with Tippy Toe, he's able to purify all non-damaging non debuffs, that again is very helpful. So I'm kind of like, for me, I'd either have it as a case of having the Luke Cage synergy, Doctor Doom, and Squirrel Girl. Those three I see more value to. Yes, you could say that the shock side of things is important, but let's face it, it's more specific to the path you may take and the champions you might meet. There's a double immunity champion, that's bleed immune. Then that's the case of like, yeah, okay, take Sentinel in with it. But still, there's kind of like a good, strong selection of champions there. And just adding in another one to that will just make a really strong team in any case. So, yeah, um, improvements for Doctor Doom, average improvements for, for Luke Cage and Sentinel. But yeah, a just fun team, a fun little team and Squirrel Girl. So this adds more to the kit, diverse nature with usage in different types of events. And it could be a really cool option in the future, utilizing Squirrel Girl, Doctor Doom, maybe Luke Cage, maybe Sentinel but mainly around Squirrel Girl and Doctor Doom, respectively. And there we have it. That's been a little kind of, well, I'd say review type video of the synergy that's surrounding the very delightful Squirrel Girl. A very interesting champion, very fun champion, as I've done with my review. I'll probably put my review up there for you to go and click on if you wanted to check it out. And as well, any other videos for this month. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.